Hi, Dave Klappenberger with Klappenberger & Son Painting, and today we're going to look at one of Sherwin-Williams' best semi-gloss paints. It's emerald urethane semi-gloss. This paint can go just about anywhere. So many paints are very specific for this kind of thing and that kind of thing, but the urethane, the emerald urethane is amazing. It can go on kitchen cabinets, it can go on doors and trim. It has a very hard finish. It'd be ideal for mantles, places that uh, need to be durable, scuff resistance, shelving, fantastic. Bookcases, perfect. It, and it can also go on your front door. It's an interior exterior paint. You could paint it on your trim on the outside of your house and the baseboards in your living room. So the paint has a huge uh, uh, versatility to it that few other paints have. When you see the word emerald and you, and you walk into a Sherman Williams store, think 90 bucks a, a gallon. The paint is not cheap. And when you see the word urethane on it, think hard shell, very durable. It's th some paint, latex paints, you feel like you can kind of grip it and it's a little bit, you can almost get your fingernails in it. The urethane is the opposite of that. It has a hard, smooth finish. Its coverage is good. It's not great. Uh, most semi-glosses, almost all of them take two coats of paint when you're changing colors. Sometimes you can get away with one coat when you're painting the same color on top of itself. But when you're changing colors or changing sheens, you're really going to need two coats to get that 100% coverage. And to get that washability and durability, it also is going to take two coats as well. The workability of this paint is fantastic. It is a 10 out of 10. It glides on. It is a pleasure to work with. You won't have any problems or issues with that. The odor of this paint, um, it's a low VOC paint. And uh, some people say it smells a little bit like Play-Doh. I found it smelled a little bit like marijuana. Just kidding, just wanted to see if you were paying attention. It doesn't, but boy, would that sell. <laughs> All right, um, what else do we have? It is time to put this emerald urethane to the test. We have pencil, crayon, mustard, ketchup, red wine, and coffee. And we're gonna clean it with some crud cutter and see how that comes off. And as you can see, it's coming off very easily. When you look at it on the side, the uh, paint is in perfect shape. It's not burnished anywhere. It's not damaged. It's not altered. It looks brand new. So this is a very durable paint that's easy to work with, good coverage, and has a fantastic odor to it. Let's take a look at two more things about this emerald semi-gloss. One is how well does it self-level? If you're painting kitchen cabinets, you really want the paint to self-level well. Here, this has been brushed two coats with emerald semi-gloss, and you can see the brush strokes, but they're kind of faint. I give the, the self-leveling of this paint a nine out of 10. The sheen for a semi-gloss, it is not very shiny. I wanna show you this Benjamin Moore Regal semi-gloss, and you can see that it's clearly much shinier. Look at two recessed lights and the one overhead light. You can see it in detail, but when you come back over here, it looks like it could be, I don't know, three UFO lights. So. Over here, the Regal is much shinier and you can see the brush strokes more clearly. Partly because it didn't self-level quite as much and partly because when something is shiny, um, you see the imperfections, you see the brush strokes and things like that. So for kitchen cabinets, I'm gravitating towards the emerald semi-gloss because traditionally kitchen cabinets come from the factory with a satin finish not a semi-gloss. So I think that with the durability that the urethane has, I'm really liking this for more kitchen cabinets, but it is 100% up to you. I just wanted to point out the differences in self-leveling and sheen from one semi-gloss to another. All right, let's run down our conclusion of the emerald urethane semi-gloss from Sherwin-Williams. It's coverage if you're spraying or rolling, it's, it's two coats. Fantastic, but I think if you're brushing it, you, there's going to be times when you need to put that third coat on there. So for that reason, I'm giving this an eight out of 10 for coverage. It's workability, that's easy, 10 out of 10.
super easy paint to work with. It's washability and durability, 10 out of 10. Very durable paint, perfect for kitchen cabinets, especially because the sheen is not really what I would consider a true semi-gloss. It's more like a satin. And then finally, the value of the paint. Is it a good value? Well, it retails for 92 bucks, but you can get it for 60. Look, if you're looking for a versatile paint with high washability, durability, that is easy to work with, that you can take inside and outside, this is a good value. But it is at $92 and the coverage not being amazing or a 10 out of 10, I wanna give the value of this product an eight and a half out of 10. I like this paint very much and certainly recommend it. But I wanted to give the sort of the pros and cons of it. For If you like this video, why don't you just roll over the I like for us and give us a click there. We certainly appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one.